Consumer staples, everything from electronics to produce, go on sale at just about the same time every year. So Kiplinger's Personal Finance created a month-by-month -month guide to help you get the most bang for your buck. And here with some of the late summer deals is editor Janet Bodner. Good morning, Janet. Good morning. Let's get right to the deals. <laughs> hey. That's what people want. <laughs> That's right. In August, you say it's a good time to buy three things specifically. Let's put them up here. Discounts of 30 to 75 percent on outdoor toys, also school and office supplies and patio furniture. Why outdoor toys? <laughs> well, you know, it is the end of the season. What people might not understand or realize is that you don't have to wait till November, you know, till you're really out of season to get these good deals. Retailers really want to clear their um, clear their inventory, especially with the recession going on. They really like to get rid of things, and so you can get some really good deals. Seventy-five percent is pretty good. Yeah, this one surprises me. I would think because it's almost back to school time that they would actually take advantage of the fact that everybody needs school and office supplies mm -hmm. and charge you more at this time of year. <laughs> well, not necessarily. Again, because they're trying to bring customers into the store, and the tax holidays are great. There are 16 states plus the District of Columbia that will give you, that will dispense with the state sales tax on school supplies. And also, even if you don't have kids, you're talking about printer paper, uh, office supplies, that kind of thing. And, uh, you know, one state, Vermont is a new state on the list this year. Tennessee will give you double uh, relief in the sense that you get uh, state tax relief plus local tax relief. That's good to know. Yes, exactly. Patio furniture is usually ridiculously expensive. <laughs> We're talking about how great a deal on patio furniture. We're talking about uh, half off, as much as half off. And again, you can do this in August. You don't necessarily have to wait until the leaves start to fall when, when presumably, maybe the inventory is really gone. If you exactly. start looking now, you're going to be in good shape. All right, let's move to September. Mm -hmm. Some deals to be had in September include health insurance, holiday airfare, and new cars. Health insurance is a surprising one. Yes, and you know, and that's a really big ticket item that people don't think about. This is open season usually with your employer. You're going to be asked to sign up for a new health insurance plan. Some people just sign on the dotted line and react with what they've done before. But if your circumstances have changed, maybe you have a new baby, maybe you've had a job loss, it really pays to look at the plan that's being offered because you can save literally hundreds of dollars, perhaps even thousands of dollars a year on your premiums. And this is the time of year to do it. Yes, it's going to be open season. Okay, holiday airfare. You say that it's the best time to buy your tickets for December in September. Why? It's a good time to look. It's shoulder season. Again, business is slow. Uh, so uh, you may be able to get uh, deals on your holiday travel. Also, if you're interested in shoulder season travel in October and November, good time to look. I just had a friend yesterday who said she got a great deal on a Mediterranean cruise in October, and mm. she purchased it this week. So. And finally, you say September's a great time to buy a new car. The cash for clunkers thing is on hold, but you say it's a good time to go into the dealer and negotiate for a new car? Yes, because it's the end of the model year, the new models are coming in. So again, they're looking to move their inventories. And if it looks like the uh, cash for clunkers program may be renewed for at least another month, that gives you a little extra incentive. Is there any one thing you want consumers to, to take away? from this segment? What should they keep in mind during these uh, months? Well, keep in mind a couple ways to get good bargains is always to shop online because you'll always get good bargains online. Uh, but also because of the recession, uh, there are, and, and especially on discretionary items like the patio furniture or uh, like um, the, the cruises, things that people don't have to spend money mm -hmm. on, they're not spending money on, and so you can really get uh, bargains on those particular things, and now's the time to look. All right, Janet Bodner, thank you. My pleasure. Good to have you. To see the complete month-by-month -month guide, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.